Today we're going to take a look at the Alcide Prodigy siding. This is the top of the line siding offering from Alcide, and it's a pretty neat siding product. And when we started these videos, I asked the folks at Alcide to send me all their siding samples so we can put together all these cool videos for you. The Prodigy siding has some of the best, fanciest samples out there in the marketplace. Instead of sending us all this cool stuff they make, these boards and these giant brochures and these bags full of all sorts of bits and pieces, they send me this. I mean, I could make a poncho out of this thing. But it's not raining in here, so we won't do that yet. To get started, we'll make do with what we've got. So we've got this outside Prodigy siding here. There's a couple of neat things to look at. One, you'll notice it's got foam insulation laminated or glued to the back of the siding product. Now, they call it laminated because that sounds fancier than glued. And what it does is it makes sure that the entire siding product has this foam behind it. There's no gaps, so it gets hit by a baseball or a golf ball or a rock from the lawnmower, and you're less likely to get a hole in it. In fact, you even get a warranty on your, uh, a hail warranty, I should say, on your Prodigy siding. And you can read about that on our website at thesidingdog.com. So a couple of neat things to look at beyond the insulation. Uh, one, you've got a rolled over nail, thim, nail hem here, so the siding is very thick and it's twice as thick at the top. So where the nails attach, it's very durable, very unlikely to rip off in a storm or a high wind event. If you're not in a high wind area, it doesn't matter so much, but it's nice to have. Next thing we'll look at is the lock. On the top of this panel, you have a stack lock, which is pretty unique. Most vinyl siding out there has what they call a Pittsburgh lock. Who knows why? It was probably invented in Pittsburgh 50 years ago, but this one's different. So if we take a look at two pieces and see how they go together, when you're installing this, you'd start on the bottom. So you nail this piece to the wall, and then you stack the next piece on top. What that does for you is it makes sure that it makes it easier for the installer to make the panels level. He levels that first course, and then every panel subsequent to that just sits on top. It's very likely to stay level. With a Pittsburgh lock that hangs underneath, especially with longer panels, it's easier for it to get off kilter a little bit. If your installer isn't careful, you could end up with a wall that sort of twists. Less likely to happen with this bad boy. So that's a neat feature. Another one is that they come standard in 16 foot lengths, where normal vinyl siding comes in 12 foot lengths. That means a longer panel is likely to produce fewer seams on the wall. It also sometimes means that you have a little more scrap, but you're paying the premium for this stuff, you want it to look nice, and that helps. Uh, next thing we can look at here is this very deep shadow line. You see how thick this siding product is, how deep that overlap is? So when this is installed on the wall, you'll have very deep shadow lines under here. It'll look a lot more like a wood siding, which is neat. You can also see the thickness of this foam at its thickest point here, very thick, an inch and a half. So it needs special J channel to go around the windows next to the chimney, a special corner posts, all special bits and pieces because it's unusually thick at an inch and a half. But what that means is you get even more insulating value than you would from most other insulated products. So that's a feature. So overall, if you're considering Prodigy siding, it's a pretty good option. Get rid of the rest of this stuff here and show you what we've got. You also get a ton of colors available, which is neat, including these very dark colors, which you don't get with a lot of vinyl siding. So if you want to fool people into thinking you have wood, look at that dark green, dark gray, dark blue. That stuff's pretty. They do charge a premium for the dark colors, but you're already spending all this money. You might as well get what you like. Last thing to look at here before we call it a day is this seven inch panel. Now that's cool. You can get a single seven inch panel with the Prodigy, which is definitely unusual. Most siding will come in a four or a five inch uh, exposure, which is this distance here. But with the Prodigy, you can get a seven inch because it's thicker and because it's laminated to that foam, it has a lot of structure. Also your seams then, when two of these boards meet, the seams are only one board high. Where most vinyl siding, even the other Prodigy profiles, are two boards high. So the seam will be two boards high, which is a dead giveaway that again gives you that vinyl look, where with these single seams is what real wood siding would look like, one seam at a time as you move across the wall. So it's a little fancier. So overall, if you're looking for some pretty nice insulated vinyl siding, the Prodigy is it. I mean, I don't know of a nicer panel out there. They do charge an arm and a leg for it, so if you're, looking, if you're on a budget or you're looking for to keep your costs under control, it might not be the right product for you. But if you're looking to spare no expense and get the best, this is it. For more vinyl siding information, to check us out online at thesidingdog.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure you're always up to date on the latest events in the siding world. And if you have any questions, post a comment. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Enjoy. <laughs>